Hi friends, it's me, Miss Nicole. I just wanted to come on here and show everybody different ways to use the worksheets that I sent home um, this past week. One of the worksheets is the crayon page where each child is to trace the word and then color the crayon accordingly. Um, and then you could, I obviously, I colored them or my daughter colored them and then I cut them. That way they could um, readily be available. So there's a few ways to use this. Uh, one way, depending if your child um, is ready, we could have both crayon, uh, both crayons out or papers out on the table with a variety of let me move this back a little bit. A variety of manipulatives again whatever you find around your house whether they're toys Legos um, you know anything lying around that could be used um, there's you have them out in front of you and then what I would do first if I was in the classroom I would just model what I wanted so I would say oh a red ball where does a red ball go goes here, red. Same with yellow. Oh, this is a yellow duck. Where does the yellow go? We got a match. Goes here, yellow, red, yellow. And you could also, you could have them go, okay, your turn. You do. And then they would pick an item and then <clears throat> sort it. Or you could just hand them an item and say, where does the red ball go? hand it to them and then see where they place it. Um, if they're not ready, sometimes they're not, they may not be quite ready to have both colors out at the same time. That's okay. You can have one out and then just build up, but still have a variety of um, colors laid out. Okay. So you can just say, Oh, this is yellow. Let's put all the yellow things here lay it out either hand them the the item that you want and say oh where does the yellow ball go you know or oh can you find something yellow and then have them place it there and then you know obviously if they pick this up oh that's not yellow this is red and just put it back this is yellow simple as that Again, just want to utilize things that you have around laying, things you have lying around your house. Um, you could also put this in some kind of like shoe box or container. Um, you could tape it to the outside or just place it in if, you know, if just if that might be more enticing to them, picking the item up and then just dropping it in. Okay. So that's one way to do a color sorting activity using the worksheet that they had um, completed. Another um, activity, sorting activity that they could do would be, let's have different items out. Since we're talking about big, big is a sight word. Um, it's also, it's a sight word and it's also, um, we can turn it into a sorting activity. So one of the papers I sent home was a sheet with big and small. I cut them out and then um, sometimes just to make it a little easier, I highlight, what I did was I highlighted because it's not color, highlighted what the arrow is pointing to. So just kind of traced over the big square. Same thing with this, just highlighted what it's pointing to, the small. Again, again, you can just simply lay them out on the table. Or if, like I said, if you have containers um, hanging around the house, empty containers, you could tape them so they're more sturdy. And then start a sorting activity. Again, they might not be ready to have both containers out. It's totally fine. 
If they are ready, you would just have different things out on the table that's clearly um, visible, which is small, which is big. Again, I would just model what I have. Oh, I'm gonna put pick something big. <gasps> this is big. This is a big eraser. Place it inside. Okay, your turn. You find something big. Ooh, big, and then they put it inside. Okay. You could also um, small. This is something small. You could also hand it to two things um, next to each other and, and ask them and say, where's the big one? And they could point and they could grab it and then put it inside. Again, if they're not ready to have both containers out at the same time, just move it out of the way and say, okay, we're gonna talk about um, all things small. And then just point, small, small. And then you could um, ask them, oh, can you find the small, a small item? And then obviously, oh, small, place it inside. Sometimes it's even, um, uh, what works too is if you pick up, oh, is this small? And then you could utilize the yes and no icons too. No, this isn't small. Is this small? Yes. Okay, where does it go? Plop it inside. Okay, so those are just two um, other, um, sorting activities that you could do with things that you find around the home and just other ways to utilize um, the worksheets and things that I sent in the packet. Uh, also, I would uh, I would like to request when we have circle time, I'm going to be posting what I would um, like to have the students next to them, um, like as far as which materials I I passed out. Um, that way, during circle time, they could we could be more engaging and more involved. And when I ask questions. Um, so you can always have these things nearby during circle time. It would be really handy. All right. Well, until next time, um, go ahead and check out my other videos and my circle time. And I will see you guys um, later. Bye.